the yeah. spirit of rock and roll lives on. Right. Hell rock, yeah. Rock and roll is definitely a classic. And, you know, it's funny because I feel like a lot of people say, you probably heard this, a lot of people say rock and roll died when Nirvana came on the scene. What's your opinion on that? Um, Rock and roll is an, as a... Industry is dead. In a, okay. in, in rock, a sort of, right? Rock and roll as a philosophy no is still alive we'll never die yeah. that i'm we'll so i'm so glad you say that because this goes this ties in with people like little uzi right little Shout uzi, out uzi vert shouts little uzi come on the pod please <laughs> um thank you live crowd little uzi vert calls himself a rock star because of the concept the philosophy of like rock and roll is just kind of like being against the machine right against the man right yeah rage and against like, the machine shout rage out. against the machine shouts come on the pod <laughs> um thank you. But yeah, like there's still artists, whether they're not in rock and roll, they can be in any genre that still implement that to this day. You 100%. know what I mean? Because that that was what, like you said, rock and roll instilled in people. It, rock and roll instilled in people to like be different, do different things, be crazy, rage against the machine, be yourself. You're they all they do. You, I won't do what they told me. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? That's <laughs> a perfect example. And obviously, you can see how that bled into mainstream artists like a jay-z like a lincoln park like an eminem like all these guys you know what i mean like do you so like you said it was a philosophy do you think that do you like that these artists are still instilling that or would you rather to be more rock and roll artists that do that um well i just think the day and age of marketable rock and roll is non-existent right like Mm. rock and roll still is very prevalent like For there's sure. tons of Hell yeah. clubs bars basements everyone's still playing it. For sure. But in terms of that's mainly mainstream, the underground, right? Yeah, yes, yes. In terms of mainstream like what is being put out? Yes. Like rock in the grand scheme of things, yeah. it, grand scheme of things it's it's not still a ton of rock and roll, but it's yeah. still there. I feel like the rock like the rock stars that we think of, like back in like eighties, seventies, before, like they, Rolling Stones and, yeah. and Eagles and things like that. Yeah, um, or like Motley Crue, like stuff Shots. like that. Yes, there, there's not much. There's not like big rock stars like that anymore. Yeah. Like now, I feel like the new, the mo- like who would you say is the modern day rock stars? I mean, everyone throws around the Foo Fighters as like mm. the modern rock I was band. just about to say them but other than Foo Fighters because obviously they've been around for so long like if we're talking about modern day MGK. like MGK newest not MGK but <laughs> he's into rock but Greta punk rock <laughs> punk rock Greta Van Fleet yeah is like really like the now modern day like Guns N' Roses right yeah, you know what I mean Greta Van Fleet is huge for sure they're huge I love their music I think they're fantastic you know what I mean um, but like you said they they get their love, they get their roses, but it's not on the same scale, for sure. And they're they're the successful ones too. They're, and that's, the, the, that's exactly. the crazy part. It's like yeah. it used to be like there is so much. I mean, this sounds like kind of, and I don't want to just say everything's about the money, but like from the late '60s, early '70s to the '90s, there was so much money in that style. Oh, 